I hope you're all out there having the best day possible. And as always, I appreciate you taking a bit of time out of that day to actually watch one of my videos. And I'm actually going to be doing another silver unboxing in this one. And this is actually going to be my biggest silver unboxing as of recently. But beyond that, I think it's probably the best deal that I've gotten on silver because, well, I guess I can't necessarily like really place a value on those other pieces because they're much more unique. Obviously, it's not quite the same type of buy, but I do want to say that I actually managed to get everything in this lot for $395. I paid $330 for the junk silver, as you could call it, but I think there's actually some uh, decent stuff in there, as you guys will see in just a minute. And then beyond that, I actually paid just $65 for the two American Silver Eagles. So... Without further ado, let's actually get into it as or into it as well. Let's actually get into the package. But I do want to also uh, clarify something, and this is something I did talk about in a video recently. But that uh, silver that I bought was actually at the time it was a uh, melt value uh, shipped. But what ended up happening was silver went down by like a dollar. So that actually, while in transit, went down a little bit. But I'm not really too worried, obviously, because like I explained in the video where I talked about the price of silver going down, it doesn't really matter. I mean, it's good to follow prices just so you know when to buy and when to, well, maybe when to potentially sell. Although I don't really uh, think about trying to time the market unless there's a, like a huge like um, spike in demand that's not going to be able to be sustained. And the price goes up beyond like what inflation is increasing it by. Then I could, and then I could uh, potentially see that, uh, or if you just buy at a time when silver's going down a ton, like when last year silver was like in the 12s, if you wanted to sell it when it went up to 26, obviously I could understand that. But without uh, any more talk, let's actually take a look at what we got here. So first of all, here's all the uh, junk silver, and then we actually have two different American silver eagles. And I want to say like the eagles were a really great deal. I think just because of the fact that I know 3250 a piece is definitely a little bit of a mel, but like for modern eagles, you're gonna see higher premiums than uh, this. What was that? I guess like 850 premium at the time or so, eight dollar and fifty cents premium. You'll see like eleven dollar premium sometimes if you buy like single eagles from like Atmex or companies, and that's the 2021 eagles. These eagles uh, definitely have a little bit more value. This one is uh, you can see here. I guess it's, yeah, it's in a COA. And this Eagle case was actually jammed, but uh, there's another American Silver Eagle in here. And this one's really nice. It does not have the uh, COA, which he was obviously very upfront about. There was no, uh, like, you know, dishonesty or anything. I was completely aware of that. But the price was still really great because it's a 2007 W uh, Proof Eagle in the actual box. So I paid $32.50 for that Eagle. And then again, this Eagle is actually from 2015. Uh, I don't think I even showed you guys that. If you're wondering why there's a piece dollar in here, this was actually part of the uh, quote-unquote junk silver lot. And that's what I mean. There are some uh, something in the way of a little bit of nicer coins in here, I would say. There's actually one uh, other coin that I think is a little bit nicer. And beyond that, I think a lot of the silver actually in the lot is in pretty good condition as well. So I wouldn't quite call it junk. And something I do want to clarify on is, uh, at least for me, I don't really like the idea of buying coal silver or like the silver that's in really rough shape because you start to lose so much of the uh, surface that you might be actually buying like you know five or ten percent less silver than you uh, actually anticipate and just to minimize the vomiting on your guys end i'm trying to cut out the parts where there's a lot of camera shaking where i go two-handed mode and start opening a package i have this thing on my neck to hold it up which definitely is not the most effective method but this is actually other coin i wanted to show not definitely uh not as high, uh, I would say, in value as the piece dollar in terms of over its own face value, but it's still another uh, nice coin, and it's definitely in good shape there. A little bit older as well, not like, you know, one from the 60s at least. And then the Kennedys in here are in pretty decent shape for being, uh, these are actually ones that are 40% silver. If you guys don't know, Kennedys from 1965 until 1970 continue to contain silver. I'm assuming because the coin was worth 50 cents, they, I guess, maybe figured that it was still worth Putting a little bit of silver. I'm actually not sure of the history, so I'm not going to pretend like I know it. That's probably super dumb sounding. <laughs> Sorry to like pretend to know what I'm talking about when I don't on that front. But let me pour out the rest of the silver here. Definitely uh, some stuff in here that you might consider a little bit uh, rougher shape. Like you can see uh, older quarters tend to get this look. But if they still have the date to an extent, I'm not too worried. And this lot was obviously a good enough price where like... Even if there are a few cold coins in here, I definitely think that the other uh, higher value coins, like the Peace Dollar in particular, make up for that value. So I'm not, like, obviously upset in any regard. So, and he actually was nice enough, you can see here, to separate the uh, coins a little bit. He put the half dollars uh, and the quarters in to the same lot together. And there are some quarters that are a little bit older and nicer shape. 
Yeah, really nice uh, focus coming from the camera. I thought that said 52 from afar. It's actually 59, so not even worth uh, <laughs> trying to show you guys that as much as I thought. This 51's pretty nice. I mean, if we can find it in like the 40s or especially 30s in that kind of shape, that would be pretty cool. But I will take a look through it and actually tell you guys if I find anything. But then we also do have this little, uh, <laughs> literal little dime bag, I guess, technically. I hope YouTube doesn't uh, pick up on that. But uh, in all seriousness, it's just a bag of uh, Silver Roosevelt dimes. And we can go through those as well in just a second here. But yeah, I do want to at least look at the quarters, see if there's anything nice. And there should be a few 90% Silver Kennedys in here. Yeah, I was going to say, you can probably tell from the ones that look a little bit nicer. Yep, I think I got the, I think it was just these two that were 90%. Uh, Actually, this one might be as well. Nah, this one looks pretty good on the back, though, for being a 68. Because uh, the ones that are not 90% silver tend to look, I think, rougher than the ones that are 90% silver. I think silver just tends to hold up better than uh, other metals and coins, although maybe the quarters aren't the best testament to that. So here it all is laid out, and I won't lie, I got pretty lazy with the dimes because the dates are so small in there. I just did not feel like sorting those the way I did with the quarters, but... I did find that there was a pretty decent mix of dates in the dimes as well as the quarters here. You guys can see the classic, lots of 1964s. I think there was like 18 of them. We actually had 363s, 262s, and 261s. Pretty cool to get uh, some of the earlier 60s. I don't usually see those amongst quarters, just uh, in my experience at least. Uh, it would have been cool to get a 1960 in there as well. But then we got uh, a few from the 50s. Actually, I think more from the 40s than 50s. Yeah. Uh, but we got a 59, 58. And they're not in the best shape here, 57, 54, and 51. Nothing to write home about. The 40s almost look nicer, some of them, I think. Although the 59 looks pretty good and the 58 up there. But uh, then you can see here we got a 48, 45, 44, two 43s, two 42s, and a 41. The coins start to get a little bit rougher down here. Then we got a 35 and a 34. Those are not too bad. None of them uh, are, like, so bad. Besides maybe, like, the 42 and 41 are definitely uh, missing a little bit of silver on them, I'd have to say. But again, I'm not like complaining by any means because the price of the lot was actually such a like I mean even spot value for like normal junk silver with the, the way that people are like trying to grab up all kinds of silver, I would say it's a pretty good deal. But to have like a nice piece dollar in there, to have the Benjamin Franklin, and then you know we got a decent amount of Kennedys here as well. I do want to show you guys that as well. We got two from '64, and then we got. 66, three, or four 67s, 68, or two 68s, uh, and then three 69s, and we only are missing, uh, what is it, oh, I'm sorry, this is 65, this is 66, but uh, if I said 65, that's my bad, but we're only missing a 65 and a 70 out of uh, all the Kennedys, so that's pretty cool as well to get a nice little uh, mix of dates in there, but yeah, I mean, overall, obviously, I'm really happy with the lot, because Beyond the uh, actual junk silver purchase, to be able to get like an eagle that's like this pristine, I mean, if you guys actually look at it, you know, it would, I would say, uh, still pass as a pretty uh, nice piece six years later. Although, that might be some uh, milk spotting that we're picking up on there. It looks like potentially. Yeah, I think that is. So that's definitely uh, my bad. My bad on the camera. <laughs> That's definitely a shame. I didn't even notice that before, but uh, still not a big deal. On the other side, I think does not have any on it, but uh, I'll obviously keep it out of the sun to prevent any more of that happening. And then the proof, hopefully, does not have any of that on it. It doesn't look to be the case because I think that this was closed. So, I mean, obviously, to pay thirty-two fifty, I would say for the proof especially, that's kind of what I was looking at when it came to uh, buying those two eagles. And I think even with the milk spot, I'm sure the other one could still sell for like, you know, 35, 40, maybe even 40 bucks, you know, I'm not really sure. But what I do know is that I'm not obviously planning to sell any of it anytime soon. I was really purchasing this stuff with the plans of just kind of holding on to it, especially the uh, junk silver there, because that was really uh, my plan. I mean, I really think that silvers could go down a little bit from where it is right now, but I think in the long term, based on the way that inflation is going up, that silver is going to go up a little bit to match that. And I think in the next few years, Silver is going to be really hard to find below the 25, especially below like 24, 23 dollars an ounce, like it is right now. But that's just my personal uh, theory, just based on the amount of inflation that uh, the economy is experiencing due to the pandemic. That's kind of what uh, I'm thinking. So I'm definitely not planning on getting rid of my silver anytime soon. And the collectible stuff, I know you're thinking, well, that doesn't really match up with that philosophy. But I think you also got to enjoy silver stacking a little bit and diversify your stack. Because at the end of the day, if there's actual interest in uh, 
physical bullying going up a lot, you're also going to see potentially the more interest in collecting uh, pieces because those are going to be much higher value just from the silver alone. And beyond that, I think that those uh, collectible pieces always go up in value over time. To, even if like silver actually doesn't end up really performing well and it actually ends up going down those pieces will actually hold their value better against that so in that type of situation i think they just better protect you a little bit as well but that's just my thoughts on that matter and i'm sorry to ramble on uh, so unnecessarily peace